This pandemic has just changed life in such a huge way. But you know one positive that I take out of it is that it's given me time to work on my garden. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my first non-Audi review. Now today we're going to be taking a look at something from my second favourite store and that's Bunnings. We're going to be having a look at this Azito cylinder mower that's battery powered. So before we check out this mower in action, let me tell you a bit about why I bought this thing. So my previous mower was having a bit of trouble with my lawns, it just wasn't cutting it anymore. This is the Azito PXCPM018 cordless cylinder mower. These cylinder mowers have a better cutting mechanism or at least it cuts the grass cleaner and more neatly. It basically uses this scissor action to slice the blade very precisely. Now with a cylinder mower you can also cut your lawn at a lower height which is nice. And for the price of $150, I thought it was a cheap way to get into cylinder mowing. Now it's a different design. Uh, you've probably seen the manual versions of these where you have to really put some elbow grease into it. With cylinder mowers, it has a different kind of cutting action. It uses a scissor action to cut the grass and it provides this really clean cut, which is healthier for the grass and it just looks better as well. Now with the cylinder mowers, you're also able to cut the grass to a lower level than um, your traditional rotary mowers. This was $149 from Bunnings and that is skin only. So what skin only means is that it doesn't come with a battery. Luckily I had batteries lying ar around. So it's powered by a single 18 volt battery that you just insert in there. So the build quality is basically all plastic apart from you know a few critical components like the cutting blade, the handles, but generally speaking it feels quite solid. So enough chit chat, let's have a look at this mower in action. So why don't we take a look at the negatives first. Okay, so a characteristic of these cylinder mowers is that they're not designed to cut very tall grass. So, you know, if you want to leave your grass to grow for, you know, two weeks at a time, something like this is not going to cut it. Basically, you want to frequently mow with this so that you're only chopping off, you know, little bits of grass. Um, if you leave it too long, um, it's most likely not going to provide a clean cut and you're going to get you know shoots here and there um, it's just not going to be very even that's not a problem for me because i actually quite enjoy cutting the, the lawn anyway the, the another con is the grass catcher as you can see this grass catcher is has an open design now it mostly works but when the catcher starts to get a little full uh, it can mound up near where the grass enters the catcher and once that happens um, some of the grass is just not going to be caught 
uh, is going to fall to the ground or you know fly out of the catcher. Yeah, that's a slight problem. The other con is that the cutting blade does need to be adjusted very carefully. If you don't get it quite right, it's not going to cut nicely and you probably think it's broken and then you return it. So you need to spend a bit of time just adjusting the blade. Just follow the instructions in the box. The other thing about cylinder mowers is that you need to have a relatively even lawn. If you have lots of ditches and valleys and mounds, um, it's probably not going to work too well for you. You're going to end up, you know, either you're going to end up scalping the grass, like uh, cutting too much off or, or things like that. Um, it's not as forgiving as uh, your normal mower. The other con is that with a cylinder mower, ideally you'd be able to cut a bit lower. Now the cutting height settings here, I'm not sure if I completely trust what it's telling me. Um, at its lowest setting, I, I cut at its lowest setting 14 millimeters and just looking at the grass and looking at other people's photos, it just doesn't seem like it is actually cutting at 14 millimeters. There are ways to overcome that, of course. You can put a big bag of fertilizer on top just to give it more weight. It'll push the machine down and you'll be able to cut your lawn a bit lower. Now for the positives. The way this mower cuts the grass is just really good. The cut quality is very nice. Um, as you can see in some of the footage, the blades are just have this nice vertical clean cut. Let me just pull out a piece of grass just to show you. Now, I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if the camera will focus, but you can see that it's a nice straight cut along the top and it's very clean edged. Now with my previous mower, after a cut, you would, I would be able to like, I'll find a piece for you, but basically this will be hard to see, but basically the top of this grass is just like ripped. My previous mower would just like tear out grass and it would just lead to a poor looking grass and it's not a clean cut. So this cuts very nicely, clean edges and very even. The other positive is that this is very easy to use. Um, you know, the old traditional push mowers, you had to really get your back into it. But this one, you just turn it on and go. Uh, you just push it lightly nice and slow and it will just do the job. The other thing is that this is very efficient. I've managed to cut this back lawn maybe about four times on this battery and it's only dropped one bar. My rear lawn is about 25 square meters, so about 100 square meters so far and uh, I don't need to charge this battery just yet. Another positive, as with all battery powered uh, lawn mowers, there are no fumes um, and that's great. The few petrol fumes from normal mowers, um, I'd just rather avoid that to be honest. $149, this is a very cheap mower once again and in my books that is a great thing. It's just a cheap way to get into cylinder mowing. Uh, another positive is that this mower just gives a sense of satisfaction after you've done it. Um, I don't know why. Maybe it's just looking at the blades of grass and how evenly cut they are. Uh, another positive is that this kind of machine is perfect for small lawns. Now it doesn't take up much room and you can hang it by the handle up there. Put a couple of hooks on your wall and you can just hang it and it's fairly light so you can climb up stairs or walk down narrow hallways and, and all that kind of stuff. So very maneuverable, very light. Finally, Bunnings warranty, as you probably know, is excellent. And uh, I think this is a five, it's a five year warranty. So if you have any trouble with it, then uh, just take it back to Bunnings and you'll be right. Well, that's all I can think of for now. Um, this mower is a fantastic mower for the price of $149. And it's definitely a worthy investment for lawn care enthusiasts, um, especially if you have a small lawn. This machine would be able to handle those uh, perfectly fine. And the quality of cut that you get from it is just fantastic. And it is just a step up from other cheap mowers. I'm very happy with this purchase and I will definitely have something to do uh, while we are hashtag staying at home. So, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button and join me for my next videos. So what's next for the channel? Well, as you know, I am enjoying this gardening stuff. So I'll be bringing you a few videos on some budget friendly, battery powered gardening tools from Bunnings, uh, similar to this Azito mower. So I hope you'll join me for that. See you soon.
Harry. 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 Stop it. <laughs>